So I went ahead and I created a new project and I saved it as wedding. I'm currently under the learning workspace. Think of a workspace as the windows that you're going to see while you edit. It is fully customizable. So there's certain windows that you can hide and certain windows that you can view. Adobe's also made certain workspaces for certain scenarios. I'm currently under the learning workspace. So if I ever get stuck in my project, I can always head to learning and pull up tutorials that Adobe's pre-created. Next, I'm going to head over to assembly. Assembly is the most useful workspace for organizing my assets. An asset is a video clip, a music file, or any image or graphic. I'm currently under my media browser. The media browser gives me access to both my internal and external hard drives. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this clip from my friend's wedding. As you can see, I could scrub through and I get a preview of what's in the clip. I'm going to right click and it gives me some options of importing, opening in my source monitor, or revealing in the finder. I'm currently using a Mac, so revealing in my finder is going to help me locate my file within my hard drive. If I open in my source monitor, Adobe is going to give me a preview that's bigger than this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click import. The file's imported and it's currently housed in my project bin. Adobe has given some really nice options when it comes to viewing. I can enlarge this icon. I can make it smaller. Or if I have a lot of assets, I might need to look at the list view. It really depends on how you want to view your assets. Once your project starts getting more complex, it might be really helpful to create some bins. I'm going to create a bin and I'm going to name it Assets. I'm then going to go ahead and drag the clip into the bin. It also says how many items are in this particular bin. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to access this clip by double clicking on my bin. Once you start having a lot of assets for your projects, you might get lost, but don't worry, there's a search bar right on top of your files. Let's head over to libraries. The nice thing about Adobe is they've really made it that the programs are connected. So let's say, I already own Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. Once I create a graphic, I could then save it to my library. These graphics will be accessible across all Adobe programs that have libraries. Next, I'm going to head over to my editing workspace. This is where I'm primarily going to be doing most of my editing. As you can see, we have two monitor options, Source and Program. Think of source as your preview. This is the preview of the clips that you're going to be selecting to put into your timeline. Program is going to give you live feedback of what you're seeing in your actual timeline. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my friend's clip. And to have it appear in my source monitor, all I'm going to do is double click. I could then go ahead and scrub through the clip. Source Monitor, as you can see, is giving me a preview of all of my assets. The Program Monitor is going to give us live feedback of what our timeline is currently outputting. Next, I'm going to head over to Effects. Once I start applying effects to an individual clip, everything that I apply is going to be visible under my effects controls. This is going to be the area where I could really manipulate the eclipse when it comes to my effects. 
Under the color workspaces is where I'm going to color correct my footage. Color is the workspace that you're ultimately going to be finalizing your project. I might want the trees to be greener. I might want his jacket to be darker. Color is where I could really dive in deeper. Adobe's also given some nice effects to help you with color, and those can be found in our effects panel. Effects are going to be added to give your project a little bit more oomph. Now, Adobe's already given some presets that are really going to make your project a little bit easier to work with, especially with color correcting. But you also have effects when it comes to audio, or maybe you need a smoother transition between two audio clips. They've given an endless amount of video effects, and they've also given video transitions from one clip to another. Let's head over to audio next. Audio is a nicer view of your audio clips. If you need to do some audio editing, this is where you're going to be doing it. Lastly, I'm going to head over to graphics. Under this graphics section, Adobe is given some pre-made text with animation. You might have an interview that you need a name and a title and a nice graphic with an animation for it, or even some credits. You're really going to look at the options that are available here. Like I said, Adobe's given some nice pre-made options that you can manipulate and really make your own. You can fully customize your workspace. To do so, all you have to do is head up to Window, head over to Workspaces, and this is what's going to give you access to all of your workspaces. Now, let's say I don't want to see the Essential Graphics panel. I can right-click to the top corner to close. Let's say I want to drag this window bigger. I could click and drag. And maybe I want to move my program monitor down. So I'm going to select by clicking, holding, and I'm going to drag to the highlighted selection and then release. Maybe this is the ideal workspace for me. I could go ahead and I could save it as a new workspace. I'm going to save it as workspace test. It's really all about finding your comfort when it comes to editing. Now I'm going to go back to one of the other workspaces. Let's say I move my audio clip mixer to here. And then let's say I later regret it. I can easily head over to Windows back to workspaces, and reset to saved layout. And there, I'm back to my original. This is really just an overview of some of the windows and workspaces that Premiere Pro offers. The more you start working within Premiere Pro, you'll start getting more comfortable and adapting to what works for you.